Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We thought it would be fun to do a Q&A, especially since revealing baby boy's name, Tabor. If you missed that, I definitely know. We still go. call him baby boy because we're so like <laughs> scarred from leaking the name. Yeah, I know. Uh, but if you did miss the reveal, definitely go watch it. It's a super special video. We're really proud of it. Um, and um, yeah, you don't want to miss it. So we'll have that linked in the iCard. But... We asked you guys on our Instagram accounts, if you're not following us there, that is where we usually ask for these kinds of videos, Q and A's, or just other videos. And um, yeah, so you sent, us our, you sent us your questions. Some of them are about the name, some of them are not, and we're gonna answer as many as we can. So first question is from August Heat, who asked, if Tabor was a girl, what were you going to name her? Uh, what was our girl name? We had gr good girl names, didn't we? We had a few girl names. I really liked the name, what? well now I can't L remember. Elowen. Elowen. I really like the name Elowen. Yeah, I think we did a video about this. Remember we had like the boy names. and girl names? You had Elowen. I had like Forsythia and like, <laughs> <laughs> and like different ones, but I can't remember what the top one was. I think for me, the top girl name was Elowen. Yeah, and I thought it was like Lord of the Rings. It is kind of Lord <laughs> of the rings -y, but we're not having a girl, yeah, so yeah. it doesn't even matter. The next question is from Soph Madden 16 Would you like to adopt, and if no, how many more kids would you like to have? Um, we've talked about only having two. Kelsey kind of goes in between two and three, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure we're just gonna have two. Yeah, I think we are. For right now, that's like what we're thinking, obviously, because you're pregnant and mm -hmm. we already have a child. So we're thinking just two and then um, adopt, probably not. I don't think so. I, I would love to sponsor uh, a child at the southern border. Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to go through that process. I don't know if we would or if we can, even can, but I would sponsor one of those children at the southern border because it's, it's mm -hmm. pretty bad down there. <laughs> I think it is amazing when people adopt, but I think, like, you... I don't know why this might not be true, but I feel like you know if you're supposed to adopt. Kind of like y you know if yeah. you want to have kids or not. You know if you want to adopt right it's never really something it's not that i'm ever against it at all it's just never really something that's ever like crept into my heart that i really want to adopt someone yeah so to it, me that means like okay that's just not the it right it takes fit a very special person in order to adopt and that's why i say like sponsor because when you sponsor someone that comes across the border it's like they're staying with you until they can either can tell they can go through their immigration court hearings yeah so. is that a thing yeah can we do that i think so i just i have to look into it oh, and see. we should yeah. look into that i, I didn't know. even know that was a thing yeah okay next question is from peyton kimbro kimboro who asks are you loving your new house yes loving it so much it feels so much like home and i love the garden and it's growing and mm -hmm. Everything about it, it's just, it's its amazing. It's an amazing feeling that it is our house. Yeah, I our really home. like the location and the backyard. Mm -hmm. It's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. It just has a lot of charm. I love our house. Next question. Um, let's see, <laughs> should I do that one? Question, question ma, is it question ma or question mock? Question Ma UK, maybe. Do you have a plan B? Seems like YouTube is finished. <laughs> this is funny. So there is a lot of stuff going on with like family vloggers and YouTube. I think YouTube's really trying to figure out what they want to do with family vlogs. Um, but we have, we do have a diversified kind of income. So mm -hmm. I think we'll be fine. It's, we love creating videos and we love um, sharing them with you and sharing our memories, but I mean, reality is YouTube's not going to last forever. I don't think family vlogging will last forever. Yeah, family so, vlogging feels like a sinking ship. Yeah, and, <laughs> and we've realized that. I mean, we've been in the works of doing other stuff for probably a year and a half, two yeah. years. So it's not like we're like, oh, crap, what's our plan B? It's yeah. like we have things put in place and 
We'll be fine, you guys. Um, I'll yeah. probably always make videos. I don't mm -hmm. know if it'll be daily or as often as we do, but I will probably always make videos. As long as YouTube continues to exist. Right. And it's, yeah. I mean, it's like, Other I think this person's too. question is like, seems like YouTube is finished as in like people making an income off of it. I don't think YouTube. Us specifically, I think you're asking. <laughs> is yeah. that what you're saying? Right. But I don't think like we don't do this solely for the income. It's like, I do this because I love to share our family and mm -hmm. make videos. So it's it's not like it's gonna go away unless the whole entire site crashes. But yeah. we have other stuff that we do for income as well, so. Yeah, no, definitely. I think a diversified income is super important, especially when it comes to things like working on YouTube because it's just so unstable. Yeah. Like you might, like you just never know how long anything is gonna last when right. it's something, a field like YouTube. So, so you just gotta be smart and yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be here guys. We'll be fine. But <laughs> we, um, I don't know, like I would like to always continue to make videos. I feel like our videos will just continue to like change in their mm -hmm. format and what they are. and. You know, like we're definitely not daily vlogging anymore. We're now cut down to three videos, mm -hmm. but we still want to share our lives with you. But I don't know. We'll just see. We will see how it goes. And yeah. We'll just Good question, though. Go very with the like journey. it's very like happening now, and there's a lot of like stuff that's up in the air for family vlogs and YouTube in general. So yeah. There's yeah. They're there's going a through lot like an, they're going through an investigation right now. Like I have no idea. I have yeah. no idea. I know. Next question is from Jesse Sao, who asked, how did your families react to the name? Um, I think as far as I know, no one explicitly said they didn't like it. <laughs> so, I think some people were think... like, that's an interesting name. Just like some of you guys, it's like, it's just kind of a different name. But... Yeah, but for the most part, I think everyone was super positive. They mm -hmm. said, wow, that's a really strong name, or that's a really unique name, I really like that. Yeah. So I would say pretty positive. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one. Amaya120202 says, what do you think June will want to be when she grows up? I have no idea. She has so many talents and so many like dreams right now. She could be a singer. She could be an actor. She could be, she seems like she could be a CEO of a company. Yeah. She's got that like, you need to go now, mama. <laughs> yeah, she's a little um, bossy. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. She... I think it's too early to tell like what, I know she loves singing, she loves music, she loves, um, I don't know. It's, there's just so much she's into right now. I, Whatever I she will be, she will be amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like she is going to do amazing yeah. things with her life for sure. Um, next question is from Maya9645, what was your first reaction when you found out you were prego and then having a boy? Um, well, first reaction, I was just really surprised about the pregnancy because I didn't think it was possible. It's kind of a whole long story. I'll put that up in the iCard if you mm -hmm. want to watch it. Um, and then to having a boy, I feel like I already knew, even though I didn't have any specific dreams or like yeah. signs or anything. I just like my gut feeling was we were having a boy. So it wasn't. Um, a huge surprise for me yeah. that we were having a boy. Yeah, it but was a I surprise was really for excited. me. Actually, a story that we haven't told about the gender is um, when we, so we did this whole like gender reveal through this um, company that makes the cannons and your doctor emails them and then they fill the cannon and do all that. So we didn't know what the gender was gonna be obviously to get the cannon. A lot of people were like, how did you order the cannon? Well, the doctor emailed the company um, but when we open the box, they're always like, be careful when you open the box because some powder might come out. So I opened the box and there we saw like a sprinkle of pink powder and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I like reached down and it was their business yeah. card it was made to look like pink powder or on one side it was pink on the other side it was blue and it was flipped on the pink side and I was like oh my gosh that is such a bad design I for know. their business card to be in the box with the cannon so yeah. we I actually literally thought I was like oh we're having a girl and then you, I know even you I was were like, like oh no I, not that we we're having a girl not, no oh, just no, that, that we the surprise was ruined yeah because you looked in and you're like what yeah so that that was really funny but yeah I, don't, I was completely surprised that we were having a boy yeah, it's exciting. We're excited. Um, next question is Katja Weigel. How do you discipline? We are learning every single day how to discipline. Yeah. Um, right now, it's like a combo of like, 
timeouts and like serious talks and I've kind of like made my own like discipline thing where like well if she does something really bad so say she like hits hits is like hitting is like no not okay in our house so she'll get a little time out probably like a minute and we'll uh, put her in her room and then I'll go in there and I'll say okay sit down on the rug she has to sit and then we sit there for a little bit and then we talk about what happened and why it wasn't okay and she says sorry and so that's kind of I feel like it's been working okay we probably I probably need to read some more books and yeah but I'm actually currently reading shoot what is it called oh shoot what is it called what is it called the Swedish way or something oh yeah the Danish way Oh, the of... Danish way the Danish way that's what I am reading it's about discipline and raising kids and how uh, the Danes have supposedly like the happiest kids and they don't even have a phrase for terrible twos they call it like the boundary stage and it's really interesting I really like it because it's changed my perspective on some of the things that I have felt were a challenge with Juniper at this age um, I'm not finished with it yet in fact I have totally slacked on reading it recently but when I was reading it it was super super helpful and I'm trying to finish it and I'm just always looking for alternatives to things like I don't know just looking for alternative yeah. disciplines discipline disciplinary action yeah um so next question is from candy with a bunch of numbers <laughs> who was the one who had chose the name for baby boy who came up with the name Tabor I was it I you did. or me I think I did because we cannot remember I remember we were talking about um just a bunch of boy names and then I threw out Tabor. We actually, I think there was a Tabor in our town growing up and mm -hmm. I, I, that just was a cool name. And then in um, Portland there was Mount Tabor Park. Yeah, but we didn't name. But we didn't name him after Mount Tabor Park. I just, I, I would say the name was from the person from our town that had that name. Hmm. Just like hearing it. I, we didn't even know that person, but just like hearing it, I thought that was a cool name. Uh, yeah, it must have been you because I don't remember. Yeah how that even happened so um let's see comedy creation says where do you like to take pictures most that's a good question we were just talking about that the other day but we love taking pictures when we're out doing a family outing so we just went and like picked cherries and mm -hmm. did this whole like yeah. i just did this whole kind of like photo shoot but it's not really like a professional photo shoot i'm just like taking as many pictures as i can the first like 10 minutes just to like capture the memory mm -hmm. and then um and then we all hang out and have fun but i was telling you the other day i was like that is such a good idea for like if we need pictures for instagram and stuff it's like let's just do fun family things and then take pictures which is what we generally do we don't like go out and do photo shoots mm -hmm. it's like we're doing something and then i have the camera like they're like if we're out even getting coffee it's like i just take snaps of yeah. pictures when we're yeah. out so i would and say I just think it's like more authentic that way it's capturing the memory so yeah. it's like yes we're going out to do this activity but then we try to take some pretty pictures of the activity mm -hmm. and then we just enjoy. For the first like 10 minutes. It's like, okay, let's take some cool pictures. Let's really focus on the pictures and then we'll enjoy. So it's not like... It's not totally candid. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. If it's it just is. like with our phone and stuff. But that's probably my favorite pictures is when we like stop and think and like, oh, let's get some cool pictures just to preserve this memory. And yeah. then we I, go. Yeah. So location varies. <laughs> yeah. Next question is from Selena Crawford, Crawford, nineteen, who asks, "What is one thing you're most looking forward to having a boy?" Um, I'm just looking forward to how it's going to be different, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I really am looking forward to seeing the relationship between Tabor and Juniper. I think it's going to be really special. Mm -hmm. And Juni is so funny because she is such a combo of like a tomboy and a girly girl like she loves all things princesses all things pretty and pink and dress up dresses and everything but then she also loves to just like be outside barefoot digging in the mud like like not afraid to Finding get dirty she is like such a combination yeah. and i love that so i think it'll be really fun i think it'll be such a good mix for her to have a, a little brother and um they can do all of those those things together and maybe he i don't know i think it'll be a good combo yeah good balance um olivia davy says how would you feel if you had twins oh gosh 
That's like my For those nightmare. of you that have twins, triplets, quadruplets, I can't even think about, like, that is amazing and go you, but I would just, I have no idea what I would do. I would. I'm not kidding. That is You like just have to, like, my die most... a little inside and just, like, you're just taking I, care of kids. I loved, like, growing up when I was little. I loved the idea of having twins. I thought it was so cute. But now, like, the reality oh of it, I think, would be just so so I think so we would do hard. we would do it. It would just be really, really hard. Yes, I mean, obviously, people do it. Some yeah. people have triplets. Some people have like quadruplets. Like that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. But it can be done. I just think you're not going to remember anything. <laughs> it's <laughs> going to be so <laughs> exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. That I'm not. That was like my most anxious. Like every time we would go in for an ultrasound, I was so afraid they were going to find out we were having. Twins. You would even ask in the car. Okay, so we're not having twins, right? That means we're not having twins. I'm like, yes, we would have seen two people it's in there. It's still at the back of my mind. She's I'm like, not even what if kidding. they're exactly we, like behind each other? We've done the lined 20 week scan, and I'm still afraid we're going to find out we're having twins. That maybe I think that happens. It does happen. That's why I'm still scared of it. <laughs> Cause that would be, oh my gosh. I, I just, I would need a lot of help. Yeah. Okay, last question is from Skylar Phillips who asks, when are you releasing your jewelry? I'm so excited for it. Um, no idea, <laughs> I'm working on it. I So basically the update with the jewelry, and I should probably do this in a vlog, um, and I'll probably do it again. But basically the update is I've had like chats with manufacturers and after having those chats, I think I really need to start a little bit smaller scale and I'm looking for like local people to help me out. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm taking kind of like a step back. I went down in a direction that I thought is how I wanted to go and now I'm realizing maybe I wanna go in a different direction. Still with the jewelry line, but just like in a different way. I'm so, so proud of you, my love. It's yeah, so cool that it, it's just like seeing you like go through this journey and like figure it out and it's like it's okay if it doesn't work out or like if one path doesn't work out you know it's yeah. like you're learning a lot yeah no i definitely am learning a lot that is for sure and sometimes i get discouraged by it and sometimes i'm really excited about it and it's just a process so i'm just trying to continue to keep moving forward yeah. and we'll see i would love for the jewelry to be really to be released so that everyone who's interested could order and have jewelry for the holidays. Oh, that'd be that's fun. my goal. That so be good. that's goal. the goal. We'll see. Hopefully sooner or hopefully just around that time frame. Um, yeah. But that's the goal. Yeah. Okay, I think that's gonna be it though. Thumbs up if you liked our QA. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time. See you later.